This is John Black, Super Journalist. Uh, this is just a disclaimer just to let you know that uh, this video is not intended to be imitated, uh, no parts of it. Uh, it should not be copied or done by you or anybody. It's just for educational and maybe entertainment purposes to watch. That's it. I don't condone anyone repeating anything in the video. Trying to make some chlorine. Basically, you know the old adage, don't mix bleach and acid. Well, that's what we're going to do. We're going to get calcium bleach or hypochlorite, some hydrochloric acid, mix them together, and you make chlorine. So I'm basically going to drip some acid on the calcium hypochlorite. That's like bleach, except it's the calcium form. It's not so bleach is sodium. Uh, here's my how many. It's one mole, so one mole is here's my molar mass. Now, I don't want to make that much gas, I just want to do it for the experiments. Uh, here's a constant of 22.4 liters per mole. So if I divide by 22.4 liters, I get 6.4. Uh, that way, if I make a mole, I only make one liter. Um, but this is only 68% pure, so I divide by this by 68.68. .68. I get 9.4 grams. So I need 9.4 grams of this stuff that I bought the shock to get 6.4 grams of this calcium hypochlorite, right? Because only 68% is what I want. The rest is like calcium chloride and whatever else, whatever other byproducts you get when you make uh, bleach. Um, now, this, we know that concentrated hydrochloric acid. And the stuff you buy at the hardware store, it's about almost somewhere around one mole per hundred milliliters. Now I have four moles I need. So that's 400 milliliters. And we're dividing everything by 22.4. So here I did that. 17, you might as well say 18 milliliters of hydrochloric acid. So if I drip 18 milliliters of hydrochloric acid onto 9.4 grams of my shock, which is this much calcium hypochlorite, I will get two moles of this. One mole is 71 grams, so two moles is 142 grams. I divided everything by 22.4, so I did the same over here. I get 6.34 grams, and if one twenty-second point four of a uh, mole is a liter, and I got two moles here, and I took that, so that's two liters. So I'm going to make two liters of gas. I want you to keep in mind, I'm, I'm clo closed out my lab. I still have a lot of videos to go out, but I'm kind of doing these repeat videos. I know a bunch of people made chlorine and some more stuff that I'm making, but I had a video banned, and you only get so many banned, you know, within a three-month period. So that means I have another month or so before I can put anything up that's new, you know, unique, that I'll be afraid that they'll, because if you get three strikes and they cancel your channel, they will kick my whole channel off the air or whatever, I'll have to start all over again. So, sorry to say about that. Alright, here's my chlorine sports. It's just some uh, shock wave, you know, from the pool place. Uh, it's calcium hypochlorite. 68% and the 32% is other ingredients. Uh, so I just wanted to show you that I'm going to get it out. It stinks. <coughs> well, there's my setup. I got my hydrochloric acid in here. I got my bleach in here, my calcium bleach. You can't make it out because it's. I got this white towel behind it, but this is just an empty round bottom flask. And then it leads into some water over there. And uh, that's it. I'm going to drip it in. You can see it's bubbling. Uh, you can tell that it's getting green inside this flask here. It's 
actually I'm not sure I did not. Okay, actually starting to get yellow in there too. That's about it, really. That's the whole deal. Nope. Uh, I asked. Well, that's it. I got some chlorinated water. That's uh, HOCl acid. Instead of it being like the sodium bleach, it's the actual acid. I'm tell you what acid I'm making from xylene. Got some uh, dilute nitric acid in there, some xylene, and I'm just poking it up. And, some, and that's it. Oxidize one of the methyl groups to a, a carboxylic group, and then you'll have methyl benzoic acid, or some people call it toluic acid. And I can. Uh, just like when you get benzoic acid and you get some sodium hydroxide and mix it together and, and try to distill it, you can do that with this, but instead of getting benzene, you'll get methyl benzene. I wanted to bring up this guy here, Matthew Wilson. I figured out how to uh, cut, and, cut and paste, I think it's about cut and paste, uh, uh, computer addresses. So if you look in my description of this video, you'll see I will post I will cut and paste his computer address there and you can just click on it. It'll be blue probably. You can click on it and go to his site. Uh, he's doing something unique. Uh, he's like me. He's learning. But he's got a good sized brain. He's going to figure it out. That's for sure. Uh, he's actually making gems, believe it or not. Like, you know, sapphires, uh, rubies. You know, I'm guessing he wants to make other kinds of gems too. But he wants to perfect this, what he's doing now first. And he's actually building, a, buying the equipment or building a furnace so that he can do this stuff. Um, so if you are interested in that kind of thing, you know what I mean? Taking some salt basically or some oxides and heating them up until you have a freaking ruby. Uh, you know, or you want to talk to him about it, even if you have information, maybe you can help him. Uh, go on over there, check it out, help him out, or talk to him, or whatever, man. Check out his videos. I've really only watched a couple about the gems. And like I said, he's buying the equipment, he's getting ready. So it's not like he has a million videos about it yet, but give him time, and uh, people are interested, I'm sure it'll, it'll help him be uh, more motivated. So anyways, check it out. Always remember, science is great.